Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Naked Audio Tutorial. This is Yong from SG Audio Hype. Hey, the original timeless came in here broken MMC X pin uh, for today. So the replacement will be a bit tricky, but the process is all about the same ish. So first we need to open up, use a heat gun uh, or anything that is similar. We want to heat up the glue. So when the glue is warm, they soften and we can use something sharp, slot in, you see how easy you can open it up. But you have to go all the way around because they have some catches all around. Okay, this is the blue tag that is melted. Uh. You can just roll them off. Okay. So after we go one round, the thing should open up fine. Okay, so there are two ways to replace this kind of issue. Uh. So the center pin is the one that is broken. Uh. The method that if you can use, you can get a donor. But we do not know the size. Okay, the size should be not the same. But we can try. We can use a donor to remove the center pin and we replace the center pin into the IEM itself. So how do you do that? Uh? You need a lot of heat. Okay, another method is just to replace the uh, the whole the whole connector itself. So we'll get something that fits and we will do up the fitting with resin. So this one fits. So this is our uh, not backup plan uh, but this is another method. Okay, so we will try the donor. Okay. So first thing first we need a lot of heat which uh, needs a lot of attention. And I will need a set of pliers too. Okay, so first we will remove the the wire. Okay, as you can see, uh, they are marked. The one with the blue is actually the the ground. I mean the the return signal. So we will just apply heat. Keep on applying heat onto the center pin until it is uh, I cannot tell also but we will try to remove it we are just trying to to expand the metal and melt slightly the diorin uh, the diorin that is uh, holding it inside okay so the pin should be very hot now we should be able to pull it out without okay we are having okay so the center pin is out right now so this is what i meant we are trying to replace just the center pin so as you can see uh, this is actually not commonly seen the center piece is made out of, uh, you can see this is half, I'll take photos and everything. So it's supposed to be two half, two C's and creating a barrel, so it is broken. This table. We have our donor, so what we will be doing is actually the same. We will burn the, uh, not burn, we will heat up the central pin of the donor pin take note just to hit the pin only uh. don't hit the the shell because if you hit the shell the whole central piece including the plastic therein will come out okay, so once we think we have enough heat we will attempt to pull it out okay so this is the donor so as you can see, this one should fit inside. We will do all the testing required, but it's very hot right now, so we let it cool down. Okay, we can just compare. I am really not sure how well this shows. Uh. See, there's a slot in the middle. It indicates that there is two parts. Whereas if I put this side by side, it will be only one part. You can see, we only have half. So basically,
half of the pin is gone. Okay, so I'm not too sure if it's still hot. This will enter. Okay. So from here, we will try to straighten it and align it. So the way we do it is to use a set of MMCX connector, male connector, to, to do the alignment. Okay, so now I see I've just found any set of MMCX. We want to align the center pin to the center pin. Okay, and we'll press it in. Okay, so this is the length. We'll push it to make sure this is the length that we want. I will solder the wire on from here. And then you can... You should, not can. You have to use glue and such to steal it up to make sure that it doesn't go in or go out of the... not in or out of the connector. And also since because the 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 the, the Teflon uh, insulator has already been heated, uh, so the sizing is going to be bigger. So there are going to be problem if you do not glue down the connector as required. Okay, so for the, the first part, we will use a slight amount of glue applied using needle. I need a smaller needle onto the gap itself. We will let this sip in and dry. Okay, so once it's in, uh, we will use generously. Generously is the word. Uh, generously glue. This is UV glue. I will connect this to everything that we can see and we'll cure it this is to prevent the connector from going out backwards I mean the, the central pin from going out backwards the glue will help but uh, mostly it's for frontwards actually no lah the, 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 this process is they are helping with both front and back so right now I want to remove the male pin and to see that if the thing is correctly aligned. Okay, yeah, you can see the pin is correctly centered. Perfect. So we will close the IEM. Okay, just take note that all this extra glue that I put it may affect the may affect the the way the connector can sit onto the IEM shell. So we are going to remove anything that's excess, and this thing we just want it to sit properly. So before we do any glue, we want to make sure that the top part also can sit properly. And we'll have to adjust accordingly. Okay, this is good. Okay. Uh, one thing about the timeless is that uh, we will actually have to use a bit of glue. But it's on the outer... <clears throat> the outer shell. You can do it on the inner shell too. La. So uh, basically, uh, you see this part that's sticking out, this other one that goes into the slot here. So you either apply the glue here or, or on here itself. I'll just do what I do usually for timeless. Okay, of course, uh, before you close, uh, do some testing, make sure that the MM6 is aligned properly. 
uh, and the sound doesn't cut out. There will be sound because the contact is there, but we just want to make sure that the sound doesn't cut out. Okay, I'll put some extra glue on the connector itself to make sure. Yeah, and some around, but this will be mostly so okay. Oh. It will be harder to remove the next time. Okay, so we will press it down and let it uh, let it finish the adhesion. I don't know why I have to use the big word. Yeah, but yeah. So that is all. This is the sim. It's not simple, but I think this is the one of the more uh, straightforward ways that y'all can do a NMCX uh, inner pin repair uh, without replacing the IEM. Uh, in this case, because the connector itself is proprietary, so this is one way you can do it. If not, we can put in a. MMCX connector that will fit and will do a uh, resin and everything. But yeah, any question? Let me know. Uh, that's all I can say. Thank you for watching.